Hello guys, in Filament V4 when running Make Filament Resource, you may see a few questions appear that didn't appear in V3. So if I run Filament Resource in V3, it just creates Filament Resource, no questions asked. And then I can go to my browser and immediately see the tasks list. Now in V4, it's a bit different. If I run the same terminal command, it would ask, what is the title attribute for this model? And some of you would be like, what? And yes, there's an explanation. The title attribute is used to label each record in the UI. But where exactly in the UI, how it would affect the actual final result, it's not clear from here. And of course, they shouldn't put the screenshot in here. But basically, what does that title attribute mean? And where would it appear? And what are even the options here? So the hint is name, but actually for the task, we have title. So let's change that to title field from task model. And then wait, there's another question. And some of you, again, be like, what? Would you like to generate a read-only view page for the resource? What is a read-only view page? And again, what it would affect, yes and no, how it would appear visually. But let's choose yes, and I will show you how it actually looks. So now if we open the task resource that was generated, the title attribute for the model is actually this record title attribute. And if we search for that in the docs, we will see that it affects global search to work. So now if we go to our page and we do see that tasks resource, we add a new task. So I filled in the form behind the scenes and now I have first task here. And now in the global search, we can do first and it should appear here. So this is why you may need to add title, which is the feature actually available in V3 and perhaps even V2 of Filament, but in V4 it becomes a part of Filament Resource Artisan command. And in the terminal it also says you can leave this blank if you don't need that feature. So this is optional. Now what about read-only view for the page resource? The second question. Visually it affects that you will have view here, which will have info list configured for you. At least this was in my case. I'm not sure if I'm 100% correct here, but the info list was generated inside of task resource and inside of that task info list class, we have configured text entries for fields. And now as an experiment, let's delete all that resource and rerun the command choosing empty and null values and no for those questions. And this is where filament 4 shines, by the way. All I need to do is delete the folder of app filament resources tasks and there shouldn't be any more references to that tasks anywhere else so it's all in one folder and now i can start again from model to generate the filament resource so again let's try filament resource task and in this case i will even delete the dash dash generate and let's see what is the title attribute no we don't specify anything would you like to generate read only view no and then the third question, if you don't specify dash dash generate, it will ask, do you want to generate the columns from database? And in this case, for demonstration, I choose yes, otherwise we would have empty table. And let's see what's inside the code and on the page. So if we take a look at task resource, there is no title property and there is no info list method. On the page, we have tasks. We don't have view here and we don't have global search on the top right because we chose to not enable them. So I hope now you understand those two questions that appear with make filament resource, but also they can appear in form of flags, which you may set up right away when running the command. So let's run make filament resource dash dash help, and it will list the options. Let's make this bigger, and there are quite a lot of options actually. And you can provide those as parameters right away, like record title attribute, the same as title, also dash dash view to generate that new page, but also there's no interaction command or other flag that you can specify not only to make filament resource, but in general, for example, if we run filament resource with no interaction, or you can instruct AI to do something like that so it wouldn't ask any questions, look what happens. No questions asked, the task resource is created and what's inside, it's the same as we did with providing empty values. No title, no info list, and task resource is generated, but without the fields in the form, so you need to specify them yourselves, input by input. So yeah, I hope it clarifies those questions for Make Filament Resource, and share your experience. Were you as confused as I was when I first saw those questions? Let's discuss in the comments below. 
that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos